Welcome to the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum's live web presentation about our Apprentice ePanel. My name is Sean Watson and I will be your host today. This webinar is being recorded and we will make it and the presentation slides available to participants following this broadcast. If you have questions throughout the presentation, enter them through the webinar control panel and we will address them at the end of the slides. In today's session, we focus on a new initiative designed to better understand the environment today's apprentices face. The Canadian Apprenticeship Forum has established an online panel of apprentices from across Canada to answer regular surveys about their apprenticeship experiences, including topics like finding an employer, technical training, and motivation to complete. Their insights will be featured in upcoming reports to help the apprenticeship community develop the right programs to address their needs. Emily Aerosmith, the project manager of the ePanel, will go through the finer details for you now. She will let you know how you can help us recruit apprentices so we can gather this important information and share it with the apprenticeship community. Welcome, Emily. Thanks, Sean. So today I'd just like to review um, with you some details about uh, the Apprentice in Canada ePanel. Uh, the Apprentice in Canada ePanel um, enables the apprenticeship, uh, Canadian Apprenticeship Form to survey apprentices online. Once recruited, apprentices will be asked to participate in a one-time screener survey and then two to three uh, surveys uh, each year. The form will summarize the survey results and share apprentice insights with stakeholders on an ongoing basis through reports on its website. So why do we need an ePanel? Well, we know um, that gathering feedback from apprentices is very important, uh, but their views tend to be underrepresented in the literature. So we know that there are lots of studies with university students, for example, and graduates. Uh, for digi digital technology, for example, we have um, surveys where you, university students are sharing their views on digital technology and what supports they need. Uh, but we don't have similar information for apprentices and we really don't understand their thoughts and views. When it comes to outcomes in the labor market, once again, we have very detailed information on what university graduates experience, but we don't necessarily have the same level of detail for apprentices. So we really don't understand their career progression and what their employment and labor market outcomes are. And this is really important information for us to know when we're, we're reaching out to youth and parents, trying to promote skilled trades careers, and when we're um, trying to um, understand how to better help apprentices, we really need to know what their experiences are. The ePanel will also give us a way to understand current apprentice experience, and this is very important because apprenticeship is tied to economic cycles, and economic conditions in various sectors across the country have a significant impact impact on apprentice registration, completion, and their experience while training. One of the challenges we face, though, is that Statistics Canada information, by the time it's produced and shared, it's sharing the experiences of apprentices who are in the system uh, quite a few years ago. To give you an example, uh, StatsCan has completion cohort studies with apprentices who went to school during the 1990s. We have the National Apprenticeship Survey, which is run by Statistics Canada as well. Uh, the last survey we have is from 2007, and it was based on the experiences of completed apprentices who were in the system in the early 2000s. So at that point, this information is over 16 years old. It also, um, the National Apprenticeship Survey captures information about apprentices who have completed. So by the time they're doing the National Apprenticeship Survey, they're actually journey persons. And they're reflecting back on their experiences that might have been by this point five or six or seven years ago. 
so we don't really have an accurate sense of what apprentices, um, what barriers they're experiencing as they go through the system. Uh, we do know that a recent National Apprenticeship Survey was uh, conducted in 2015, but the data might not be available for a couple of years, and once again, it's going to share the experiences of completed apprentices. Uh, Stats Canada also has the Registered Apprenticeship Information System, which provides data on apprentices every year but it doesn't necessarily cover um, topics that apprenticeship stakeholders would really want to explore, such as the reasons why apprentices are not completing, uh, wages, entry into apprenticeship, or how apprentices are coping uh, with technology. The Apprentice in Canada ePanel is really going to let us delve into more of these issues and get more uh, feedback from apprentices. And this will be really important to identifying current challenges and opportunities. We're going to give stakeholders more timely information and insight, uh, which will help them better target uh, their policies. Um, it will help them develop programs and help them develop resources uh, for apprentices based on apprentice need. Um, there are 13 different apprenticeship systems um, in Canada and there's multiple trades and sectors and often uh, people in the system are so focused on their individual program, um, they say that they don't really have a good understanding of what's going on across the country and in other trades. Um, they often wonder, is what my uh, apprentices are experiencing, is this common across the country? Are other people having these challenges and how are they coping with these challenges? So understanding apprentice experience in multiple jurisdictions and multiple trades is really going to give us more context uh, to apprentice experience. And once again, this is going to help us understand the issues better and we'll be able to be more proactive in providing supports to apprentices. The ePanel will also allow us, as we build it, to track career progression over time. Um, so we're encouraging all levels of apprentices to participate and we hope that over time we'll be able to uh, track how they do in the labor market and maybe what other occupations they pursue and really what their experience is over time. And this is information that we currently uh, don't have available to us, so this will be really important. Overall, the ePanel will just help us develop uh, the big picture when it comes to um, what it, apprentices are experiencing in their training. The fact that we're going to have this infrastructure through the ePanel is very important because right now it's extremely expensive to try to conduct independent surveys uh, with apprentices. For example, if a survey firm was going to go out and try and do um, a general population survey, their staff would just have to call so many households uh, before they got to an actual household with an apprentice. So trying to conduct um, a national study on apprentices right now is very difficult from a recruiting point of view. And the ePanel will really give us the infrastructure and access to apprentices in a more efficient manner. It's also difficult to um, gather feedback from apprentices because they're not necessarily attached to one institution or one employer. Over the course of their apprenticeship, you know, they might be working with multiple employers uh, and they're only at um, their training institution maybe for 6 to 12 weeks. Um, so they, um, their, their mobility um, causes a challenge for us when we're trying to get in touch with them. For example, if you're trying to organize a focus group with apprentices, that could be very difficult as a way to gather feedback from them because um, they're busy, really busy at school. They're only there for 6 to 12 weeks and they might not really have the um, time or interest in being in a focus group at that point. So from a research approach, we just feel the ePanel will be a much better way to get in contact with apprentices.
organizations who deal with apprentices from across the country are going to benefit because they'll have yearly insights about apprentice views and experiences. They'll have a better sense of what's going on across the country and what apprentices are experiencing in uh, multiple trades and it'll just allow us to keep better track of the apprentice experience. We hope the reports and information developed from the ePanel will really enable an organizations to take more on a more evidence-based approach when developing supports and resources. Apprentices who often their voices are not heard in the research and in the literature, they will have a chance to let their opinions be heard and they will provide direct input um, to influence public policy and will help us create more effective supports and resources for future uh, apprentices. The pro pro reports that will be produced, like the information will be accessible to a wide variety of apprenticeship stakeholders and that's also um, a, a benefit. The ePanel is being overseen by the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum, which is a nonprofit organization, and we are working in partnership with RA Malatest and Associates. The Canadian Apprenticeship Forum is using its member resources to support this initiative as we feel that understanding the apprentice experience is vital to future policy and resource development. Both partners are connected to apprenticeship stakeholders and have significant experience completing apprenticeship research. Over its 16-year history, the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum has done a number of survey and focus groups with apprentices, um, so we understand um, uh, this group and how to frame questions and how to encourage discussion. We've done research on a number of different topics, so we have the appropriate background context to run this e-panel. We've ex explored uh, barriers to apprenticeship training, the costs and benefits for individual apprentices of apprenticeship training programs. Um, we've talked to apprentices about the challenge to finding an employer sponsor and about mobility issues. The forum really has experience through all these different focus groups and surveys about asking pertinent questions and analyzing survey results in collaboration and with direct input from a variety of apprenticeship stakeholders who participate on our research working groups. As we do the e-panel, we'll also be working in close collaboration and consultation uh, with the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum uh, Research Committee. So that will be, they'll be providing um, direct input into the ePanel. The forum is also working in partnership with RA Malatest and Associates, which is a well-established research firm with over 20 years of experience doing apprenticeship research, including the groundbreaking return on training investment studies with the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum. RA Malatest will be contributing um, extensive survey experience. Um, they have developed a sampling plan for us. Uh, they'll be assisting with recruiting. They also have experiencing managing e-panels on a number of different topics, um, so they know how it should be run. And they will also ensure the data is properly stored and analyzed. They can provide access also to a survey house with bilingual staff. How will we implement the surveys? Well, all surveys will be implemented online through the Apprentice in Canada website that has already been established. The website has been set up both in English and French and describes a bit about the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum and our Analytest and Associates and has access um, to the screener survey. So the links have been provided there and please feel free to um, click on these links and go and check out uh, the ePanel. 
and this is really the infrastructure that we've invested in uh, to really collect the feedback from the apprentices on an ongoing basis. Apprentices in any year and any trade uh, can participate in the e-panel, so we're looking for a wide variety of feedback, and we're encouraging uh, apprentices really from all years uh, to participate. So we have a good sense of, of what apprentices are experiencing as they progress um, through their training and through their program. We're also inviting journey persons who have recently completed their training to also participate and share their experiences. In terms of expectations of the apprentice, uh, really what we're asking them to do is go to the website and then join the e-panel. Um, when they do that, they're going to be asked to complete a screener uh, questionnaire. The screener uh, questionnaire asks just basic uh, questions about them so that we can start to develop in our e-panel a profile of uh, the apprentice population in Canada. Uh, so the screener questionnaire asks questions about uh, gender, wages, uh, barriers that individual uh, might be experiencing, their attitudes towards completion and whether their goal is to earn their certificate of qualification and their apprentice year. So really the screener just asks them some basic questions and it's going to help us develop a, a better profile of who's joining the e-panel and uh, the, the types of individuals that are in uh, uh, in the apprentice population. After that point, apprentices are going to be invited to complete two to three additional uh, surveys per year, and RA Malatest and Associates um, does manage several other e-panels, as I previously mentioned, and they feel like this is an appropriate number of surveys. Um, the surveys um, will be short, only 10 minutes in length, and it will keep people engaged in the e-panel. They'll feel like they have had opportunities to provide uh, feedback, but at the same time, it's not going to make people feel overwhelmed. So two to three surveys based on RA Mal test experience is the appropriate number to keep people engaged. Participation in the e-panel is voluntary, and apprentices are free to opt out of the e-panel at any time. So if they decide they don't want to complete the surveys anymore, um, they're totally free um, to um, opt out, and then they won't get any more um, uh, requests about the e-panel. Uh, we're very uh, conscious about um, ensuring that we respect apprentice privacy. So any feedback that is gathered through the um, online um, survey mechanisms will remain confidential in accordance with Canada's uh, Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. Apprentices who join the ePanel will not be asked to purchase any product or service, and any information will be gathered for research purposes only. So it's really just a chance for apprentices to share their views and for that information to help stakeholders develop better policies and resources. In terms of the uh, time commitment, we were very conscious. We don't want to make this a burdensome time commitment for the apprentice because we understand that uh, they're very busy and we don't want to take up too much of their time. So we've been really conscious when developing uh, the surveys that they should only take, on average, uh, 10 minutes to complete. So once again, the, the survey screener is about 10 minutes, and then throughout an entire year, uh, they'll be asked to, they'll be invited to complete two or three more surveys, and each of those surveys will only be about 10 minutes to complete.
We have developed a sampling uh, plan by province and territory, a major uh, trade group. So according to the 2012 Registered Apprenticeship Information System, which is run by Stats Canada, there are approximately 400,000 registered apprentices in Canada. We are working towards recruiting around 4,000 apprentices to ensure that the panel it represents a statistically significant proportion of the apprentice population in Canada. Recruitment will be ongoing uh, to reach our provincial and territorial targets and our targets for each of the major trade groups. So far, we have 300, 300 apprentices who have joined the e-panel and uh, recruitment will be uh, ongoing to reach our targets. In terms of what is going to happen to the apprentice survey findings, um, the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum anticipates producing reports each year that will summarize the research findings from the apprentice surveys. Um, members of the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum will be the first to receive these reports uh, with potential for wider distribution at a later date. These reports will provide apprenticeship stakeholders with insights into topics that they might not have the resources to explore internally. Key messages from the apprentice surveys will also be incorporated into our dialogue events, our website, including our new Skilled Trades Network, to ensure that the information is shared as widely as possible and is understood by the apprenticeship community. Some potential themes of interest for our few first set of surveys um, with the e-panel relate to barriers to completion and progression, which we know is a topic of interest in the apprenticeship community. Uh, we are also interested in potentially exploring apprentice wages uh, for different trades and sectors. Um, we're also interested in finding out more about apprentice experiences and technical training and asking about their experiences uh, potentially with online learning and their experiences in the classroom and supports that they um, may or may not be accessing and uh, what supports they feel would support them in their technical training. We'd also like to ask apprentices about their use of digital and other technologies on the job. What devices are they using? What is their experience uh, with new technologies? Are they facing any challenges uh, such as computer literacy? What is their experience in various trades? In terms of uh, timelines, 2016 will really be focused on recruiting additional apprentices into the e-panel. And as a part of our recruiting strategy, the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum is planning to visit college campuses and union trade centers to talk directly to apprentices about joining the e-panel. We'll also be working in close collaboration with our members and other apprenticeship stakeholders to encourage more apprentices to join the e-panel. In 2017, we hope that the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum will be in a position to start sharing results from the e-panel with apprenticeship stakeholders, and recruitment and reporting will be ongoing in subsequent years. So we're really envisioning this as a long-term initiative and a consistent way to gather uh, feedback from uh, apprentices. In terms of a call to action, at this point we're asking apprenticeship stakeholders for assistance in recruiting apprentices to the e-panel. This can be done in a number of different ways. The most effective strategy um, is for stakeholders to email the apprentices in their databases and invite them to join the e-panel. We're also asking stakeholders to distribute e-panel cards to apprentices. 
and posting ePanel posters around their schools or union training centers, uh, talking to apprentices they know about uh, joining the ePanel, and lastly, inviting the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum uh, to speak to their apprentice classes. Uh, so if you're interested in um, helping us recruit uh, apprentices, please feel free to uh, contact me and I can share with you the ePanel cards or posters and give you more um, information about um, the ePanel. So that's all the information I wanted to share with you today about the ePanel. Now I'd like to pass it back over to Sean Watson. Thanks so much, Emily, uh, and thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, Emily, I do have a couple of questions uh, that have come in over the presentation. Uh, the first one uh, that came in says, will, will each jurisdiction be represented? Yes, each jurisdiction will be represented. Um, all 13 jurisdictions were represented in our sampling plan, and we have specific targets for each jurisdiction. Great. And we're working to meet those so that everyone is represented. Perfect. Uh, and a follow-up question to that uh, was, how will CAF decide on which research topics to undertake? Uh, we're going to be working with the uh, CAF uh, Research Committee and they're going to be providing guidance to us on uh, which research topics we should undertake. We also consult widely with apprenticeship stakeholders through our, uh, our uh, dialogue events that we have on a yearly basis. And so we're hoping that the dialogue opportunities will give us a chance to hear about topics of interest and then that will influence the surveys we develop for the ePanel. Perfect. Thanks, Emily. Um, the CAF Research Committee, uh, for those interested, is made up of uh, representatives from member organizations of the Canadian Apprenticeship Forum. So if anyone in the audience is interested in learning more about the Research Committee uh, and their member, they can contact Emily. Or uh, if you're interested in membership, you can feel free to contact us uh, in the office about that as well. Uh, that's all the questions we have right now. If anyone has further questions, we'll follow up uh, after the presentation. Uh, I want to bring your attention to the closing slide now, and uh, thank you again for joining us for the ePanel webinar. If you haven't registered yet for Apprenticeship Hands on the Future, there's still time with 37 days left to go. You'll meet experts from across the country and hear the latest news to news about initiatives underway in all corners of the apprenticeship community. This year's conference features a compelling and engaging program. There's no doubt you'll return to your workplace eager to share what you've learned and ready to implement new strategies to support apprenticeship training. For more information on the conference and to register, please visit the conference page on our website. Next up in our webinar series on May 11th, please join us to hear about current Canadian Apprenticeship Forum initiatives for women in the trades, including the Skilled Trades Network. Graham Trafford from Mott Electric will join us uh, to share perspectives on hiring and retaining women in the skilled trades. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us today, and have a great afternoon.